Michael May gives some on-set coaching to local engineering firm owner turned actor Patrick Smith. Hey, hey, it's in print. If it's in print, it can be cited. There we go. Look at that. Hey, welcome to uh, episode two of Under the Umbrella here at Walnut Grove. And I've got to tell you, thanks, number one, to the Paris Post Intelligencer and uh, for that shout and for, uh, um, I, I haven't read any more, actually. I just have gotten to that owner turned actor part. So, but I want to, I really want to give special thanks to Mike Weatherford for helping pull this together for getting me out in front of uh, the other side. Um, Michael May, thank you for giving me the shot. Um, the amazing actors, uh, John McDaniel, Johnny Mac, um, uh, Todd Bridges, Bailey McSwain, Reese, um, let's see, Elvis, Ray, um, those guys were all on the set shooting Kevin Keel. Man, you're, you're doing you're doing awesome things over there at that studio. Keep it up. It, you know, it, it you transform the place into a set. Um, and I, I tell you, the the people of Paris and Henry County, um, what uh, the exposure that that Michael May and his production company has uh, given this area. Um, and, and inviting talent in Mr. Todd Bridges got a chance to meet him. He was on the set. Um, uh, there were some other actors, uh, that, uh, that Michael May brought in, um, Vince, and, and I'm going to butcher it is very Italian. So like, and I don't even want to, I don't want to butcher it. Um, but, uh, brought in production company, uh, 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 he used uh, Mr. Leon White and his awesome capabilities on sound. Um, I know the mayor, Miss um, Kathy, Mayor Kathy Ray, uh, did quite a bit of, of helping out. And again, big shout out again back to Big Mike Weatherford. Um, I know he he helped out a lot with with some of the boxing scenes and some of the other other things that were going on, uh, behind the scenes, but you know, Hey Mike, look at, it. we did it. <laughs> Mike, Mike. Thanks guys. I really appreciate it. Um, it's been the, what a great, great chance to do. That was, that was, uh, yesterday today. I went to our state Capitol and participated in the uh, the Tennessee Department of Transportation's Industry Forum. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, the state of Tennessee uh, has passed legislation to spend three billion dollars on improvement and modernization of our uh, infrastructure network. It's going to have a huge impact on the entire state of Tennessee. Um, there's already been huge impacts on the workforce. Um, we're seeing it at the at the local level. They see it at the state level. It's at the federal level. It's it's universal. It's it's not. Uh, no one field is isolated. Nursing's not isolated. Teaching's not isolated. Um, Try and find a carpenter. Um, anything that requires a skill of any sort, <laughs> of any sort, including bad acting, is in in high demand. And um, we're going to be challenged. We're going to be challenged to meet that. But with a challenge comes opportunity for growth, um, an opportunity for change, opportunity for uh new investment in Tennessee. I had uh 
I've already kind of seen with, we, we've done a lot of work at the Nashville International Airport. And when they started their visioning process, um, they, they had planned on spending something like $9 billion right there at the airport. And I remember whenever the contractor, uh, you know, some of the people from industry were talking and the airport authority said, anybody have any, any thoughts on this? At the time, this was probably 2016-ish, 2017-ish, somewhere in there. The contractors and the people in the industry had already said, those people don't exist here. We're going to have to bring them in. Nashville started that boom. They were already, you know, kind of the crane watch was going. There was already a demand on the workforce. Pump $9 billion into one airport. To give you an example, the Tennessee Department of Transportation's entire annual budget is about $1 billion roughly a year annually. They pump $9 billion into one spot. There was a huge drain. We were working up there. Lots of companies were working up there. And then there were people backfilling. Um, we're seeing the same thing happening with Blue Oval. Whenever Blue Oval came to West Tennessee, my thoughts were then it was going to have more of an impact on West Tennessee than when TVA flipped the power switch on. We were already experiencing the boom from Nashville combined with what the airport authority was doing. Now we're going to, we have this boom going on in uh, West Tennessee. And again, similar, they're, they're investing, you know, three or four or five billion dollars in this initial investment in, in a centralized hub place. So it's, it's, it's a big challenge um, that every industry is going to um, have to pitch in. We're going to have to figure this out that there's, there's a finite amount of us. There's a finite amount of people that are currently trained. There's a finite amount of people that are trainable in the fields that, um, um, you know, may be in the highest demands, but we're going to have to figure, figure this part out. Um, it, it's a big number. Um, we will be faced with, with challenges that we haven't even seen yet because part of, part of the idea behind this is our gas tax funding will go away. So we're, we, we moved all our chips into the center. We we're, we're banking as Tennesseans on making a big impact on our modernization of our transportation network, because that funding source that we felt was going to be there forever won't be there. Um, we're, we're kind of aligning the state of Tennessee is aligning themselves with what, with what we see nationally. Um, this move towards EV, uh, electric vehicles is real. Um, state of Tennessee's bet $3 billion that we're going to be prepared not only with infrastructure, we're planning, they're already planning for future development for what the built environment in Tennessee is going to look like. It's pretty cool. Pretty fun. Um, I hope that's informative. I, f I feel like sometimes it, it, we, we think of the people um, that are in politics or in our state government or in some sort of leadership position is they got all, all the answers. We, nobody does. We all work together and they need us to help. Um, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a work program and, and a different way of thinking over the next decade that, our generation hasn't experienced and I'm blessed and grateful to God to be right here in the middle of it, just outside of Paris, Tennessee, out here at Walnut Grove, little, little bit, little between, um, 
Whitlock and, and Jones Mill. Episode 2, Under the Umbrella. In the books. Thanks.